Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another video from me Discovery and we're on part 8 of uh, Undertale. Um, <clears throat> previous episode kind of ended abruptly and it was because I got a critical error that didn't showcase the battle and the crash basically. Um, so I replayed it and it actually worked properly now. Uh, but that was really scary. Uh, let's see, a long time ago a human fell into ruin. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Right. A key. You took the key, put it in your phone. Okay. Asriel, the king's son, heard a human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Do heart-shaped lockets. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Take it. We got a worn dagger. And four. Armor says best friends forever. Oh, whoops. One dagger weapon for cutting plants and lines. Guess can equip that. This burn pan, let's see. That is rather consistent. Consume items yields four more HP. Let's see. Drop. My bad. <coughs> Whoops. I'm not sure it's better than the one I had on me. Let's see. 11 is one for every other turn. Guess the extra defense is helpful. Rooms and renovation. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated them human, human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuster Champ, 98. Despite everything, it's still you. Hmm. Alright, so now I have the two keys. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their own village, but there was nothing we could do. Then the next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, wrecked by grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Astrid crossed through the barrier and carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Astrid reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human into it. Suddenly, a scream rang out. The villagers saw Astro holding the human's body. <clears throat> they threw it and had, he thought it had killed the child. The human attacked him with everything they had. 
he was struck with a blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But Asriel did not fight back. But clutching the human, Asriel smiled and, and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. So he died. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and the queen had lost two children in one night. The human had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who fell down here must die. With enough soul, we can scatter the barrier forever. Or shatter him. It's not long now. King Asker will give us hope. Will alright. They are expecting me to die, aren't they? You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You are going to be free. Ah, I see. So this is the final part then, I guess. Somebody stopping? Huh. Son! Hey. Buddy. Alright. Um, so you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. A few moments you will meet the king. Together, you will have the determination the future of this world. I wonder. Ah, oh, damn microphone. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every XP you earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. Telling me now is that for execution points? <laughs> the way it qualifies the pain of your inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increase. And when you get enough injuries, your love increase. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. The way you measure someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. Uh, the more easily it brings yourself to hurt others. Now, you understand. It's time to begin your judgments. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And consider what you have done. What will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. What's all important is that you be honest with yourself. What happens now, I'll leave it up to you. I'm sure you will. Just need to save again since that dialogue. I'm... I'm being a bit worrying because I do know that this battle will be tough. It must be. This is the last boss after all. Ah, of course.
Dum de dum. Oh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. I'm so bad I want to say I would like a cup of tea, but you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of catch. Is that so? You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into my next room. Wow. He's not even forcing me to, it's just like just acknowledging that I am there. I wonder what's down here. Ah, it's the room of all the hearts. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Sky. It's empty. Scary. Alright. <sighs> a lot of same points, like I've said before that too. How tense. Just think about or like a visit to the dentist. <laughs> are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped on the ground. If, if by chance you have an unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue. I see. This is it, then. Ready? I mean, not really. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human, it was a nice to meet you. Goodbye. All right, no mercy. I'm pretty sure that means that I have to win this fight. I actually have to attack him. Ooh. Hit me twice too. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should be in like <laughs> this is definitely kind of tense. Um, oh shit! I just walked right into that one, didn't I? Um, Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Damn it. Alright. I'd rather see ghost attacks than... Uh, like these. Like these are the easily. I, I'm getting so confused by that move. And this one isn't helpful either. Ah. Dear Lord. Alright. That was not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Ah. More food. I maybe can win, but you know, I mean, who the hell knows, right? Oh shit, and that is definitely not helpful. Oh, come in! Fuck's sake. It's intensifying, alright? That was pretty much my last recover item. I only got it once. Ask or you really need to die now. Ah, oh, I mean, you get like a full range of HP on me. Oh, I really need to attack him once more. Ah, oh, shit, I'm really gonna lose this one, I'm sure of that. Yeah, I mean, time for Glamburger. Ah, oh, didn't even give me enough. I'm gonna lose this battle. It's the spins that gets me. All oh, right. He yeah, actually okay. <laughs> ah. So that's how it's it. How it is. I remember the day after my son's my son died. My entire underground was devoid into hope. The future had once again been taken from us by humans. I am fit of anger and declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use your soul to beacon, become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let the monsters rule the surface in peace. <clears throat> Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, I have become distinguished with my action. She left the place and never been seen again. Truthfully, I do not want the power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please. Young one, this war has gone long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. How could I? After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here than s and suffer, than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as I remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as our best that we can. You can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be a, like, like a family. Oh? No. No.
that's the flower, right? Son of a bitch. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. This world. It's kill or be killed. He looks really scared though. Uh, he crashed the game for me, didn't he? Um, I guess that'll actually be the end of this part. Um, I did know something like this was gonna happen. Uh, I guess I see you in the next video, and that's gonna be the last part of the neutral run. You guys have yourself to find out shit.